Hello, hello. So, what's new? Um, I've got a microphone because apparently the sound on the iPad isn't as high as the sound on my phone. So I've got an, a microphone on. I apologise if you can hear me breathing. Um, this is the first go, so we'll see ha what happens. I have a new kit in my Etsy store and I did say if I was crafting, if it's something I thought you might be interested in, I'll turn the camera on. So I've done that because I'm going to have a little play with the kit. Now, um, I have requests quite often. Can you do a kit? Can you do this kit? Can you do that kit? And I do always say I'll try because, um, you know, it's always difficult when you're working to a specification. It never seems to go well for me. So... It was probably about a year ago somebody asked me for some floral flashcards. I've done them. I know, it's taken me about a year, maybe nine months, but it's taken me a while. Um, but I've done two kits because I actually really like the flashcards, kind of grungy and plain, but I've also done them in florals. I'm not going to go through them all, I've cut them all out. Um, I'm going to dump all of these bits um, that come with the kit. There's number labels, there's little oval shapes, there's little tags. Um, these, This is obviously the floral and insecty kind of kit. So I'm going to put those in there. And this is obviously the planer kit. So there's lots of number labels in that one too. But um, it's exactly the same kit, but I had to do it two versions. I had to leave it plain because I'm, I'm a bit more plain, aren't I? So I had to do both versions. Um, I don't really have much of a plan other than uh, I have some cutoffs from, um, I've got the big journal which is almost done but this is a smaller one and this is the cutoffs I have from the page. So I wanted to do some little notebooks and it just, I mean it kind of just works, it's slightly too small but I just thought I'd do something with these uh, now. What I'm using is, I've got a bit of an old file folder here. I'm going to have a bit of an issue if I need to move because I've actually, I don't know how people do this as a setup, but I've got the microphone cable around my neck because it's just otherwise it dangles in front of the camera. So it's kind of all around my neck at the moment. I don't know. <laughs> so it's like hooked up and I have to bend over now. So try and do this without choking myself. I'm going to cut my... This is a really cheap file folder. It's kind of a bit pants, but you know, it's it, they're easy to get hold of this kind of folder in the UK. Um, these particular ones either came from Staples or Amazon. I couldn't tell you because I've got two types. Now I'm just gonna measure. Like I said, this is not I haven't I haven't got a big plan as always. So I apologise. Okay, this is the cut off and it's about seven centimetres. So I'm going to cut this file folder at seven and a half centimetres. I'm going to give myself about half a centimetre round. And oh, let's see if that, that's a little bit long. That's a little bit longer. Hmm. What to do? I don't want to really cut off. No, I'm going to go. These are 16 centimeters, so I'm going to make that 16 and a No, I'm going to make it bang on 16. We'll make it work. Okay, so that's that out of the way. Let's see how far. Oh, that doesn't, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. I apologise for the light. It's absolutely boiling here today. Um, well, I say boiling here today. Mm, you know, compared to general weather for the UK, it's hot, really hot, hot, hot. So I'm going to decide. And I've got, there are some that are lengthways in the kit and there are some that are upright. So I want a couple of lengthways ones. And I need to decide whether I'm using the bugs or the plane. I think I'm going to use a plane on the back and one of the bugs on the front. Hmm. Yes, yes, I think I will. 
Right, so I'm going to glue it first. These are going to be very, very plain, simple. Not, not. These are just to pop in a journal. They're not, um, you know, they're not a, a, a. It's the hot. It's melting my brain. I'm sorry. I will try. Uh, that's an excuse really because I can never really talk properly can I so um, okay glue that and a little bit of gap at the top and the bottom but it's going to be it's going to be flush with the edge there I mean if you were cutting paper this is the width of A4 so I haven't trimmed anything off the edge there I'd have to use A3 paper or other paper if I wanted to make it longer oh, I didn't ink it ah oh, we'll ink after told you the heat melting my brain I used to be fine I used to love the heat I could sit outside um yesterday once it got to about midday I couldn't do anything I was just like just you know I was going to say flopping around the house. <laughs> doesn't really sound. That's pretty much what I was doing, though. I was just going from one place to another, trying to find a cool spot. Just wanted to make sure that was the right way round. Okay. So that's on there. Now, before I sew, I'm just going to move this board. And I'm going to grab my ink. I'm going to go vintage photo. So I'm going to open this up. I've got some fabric that I can put down the little spine. I do hope this works. It all turns out into a, a reasonable little crafty project. I want to do a... Um, well, I've got quite a, quite a few things that I want to do with this, so... We'll see how much I can film. Um, sorry about the lighting. It's it's unbelievable. It's so hot and sunny, but for some reason the iPad kind of compensates for that and makes it a little bit dark. So I do apologise. Now, do I want to sew in before or after? Um, right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sew around the edges. And I will be right back. Okay, did a little bit of, um, um, I just wanted to do it all in one go. So I just stitched down there so I could still stitch um, this angle. Um, the thing is, that's probably all going to be covered up with fabric. So it wasn't essential, but just in case, um, that's what I've done. So there we go. Now, um, trying to decide whether I'm going to sew um, the fabric. I think I'm going to do the fabric first now because um it's so not me it's so not me but i have some beautiful floral fabric so i thought i'd better use some um one or this one i think i'm gonna go for the blue keep it keep it easy on my decisions now i'm just gonna cut here because i want to get that on the front so I'm going to cut and just rip that and I'm going to cut out here with these huge scissors and cut there. Now I'm going to sew, oh, maybe I should have actually put this on before I even sewed around decisions. Decisions, right? Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a really small bead of glue. My fabric tack's struggling a little bit because I think it's it's got a bit of sun sunstroke. Like me. <laughs> okay. So let's. Where's that crease? Have I gone? Wow, that was terrible. No, I'm going to put it here because I don't want to cover up the bee. I don't want to cover up the bumblebee. Now I'm just going to add a little bit extra to fill in this gap. Yeah, sorry about the glue. 
it was working fine yesterday. I put a little bit of acetone in it, but it's just, it just doesn't like the heat. Not one bit. I hope everybody is staying. I managed to catch that. Everyone is staying safe and healthy. It feels sometimes like it's coming to an end and then sometimes it doesn't. So I hope everybody's taking care of their well-being and mental health as well as physical health. Because that's a huge thing, isn't it? Okay, right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stay back along here, I think. I am. I'm going to sew back along there, but I don't know that I'm going to sew. Yeah, I'm just going to sew across here to finish that line off. Be right back. I almost need two camera setups. One so I can actually show the sewing, because otherwise I have to either move the sewing machine or the camera. And I never get things right. It takes me so long to set up. Even though all I've really got to do is bring the band, band, bring the arm over. Okay, like that, like that. Um, now, this is the bit which is where it could go horribly wrong because I'm gonna sew this in. I'm not going to just grab a couple of clips if I can not strangle myself. Oh, it's warm. What's the temperature right now? Oh, I don't know. Alexa has decided she's only going to show me the time. Usually, usually it quite often has the heat, the temperature on there. Okay. Right. Let's see how I can, how well I can sew this. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, can't see a thing, the light. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, I mean, you're not gonna see this anyway. I'm just gonna put a very, very faint pencil line along that fold, just so I've got something to to aim for. I don't know if you can see that. It's very faint, but it's better than the, the crease. Let's see how that goes. Pretty good. Pretty good, happy with that. Oh, this cable, it's very odd having it kind of flapping around my face. So that's, oh, I'd say that's pretty good, but what's going on there? Got a little bit of dangly paper out the bottom there. Although sometimes it is and sometimes it isn't. That's fine, it's not perfect, it's not perfect. Okay, so, little embellishment. Right, what have we got? Um, I'm gonna do kind of something layered, I think. And I'm gonna hang it. Let's look at these. I don't want it hanging here. Something dangling, maybe. Maybe something dangling. Maybe something small. Kind of fits, doesn't it? Let's get one of the little number labels, but I quite like that. Yeah, I'm gonna go for those two. I've got some numbers, um, they're done in the same kind of grungy style. I don't know if I can get this to focus. Come on, there we go. They've got teeny tiny little bees on them, or various insects. I just thought they were really cute. I know lots of people are adverse to insects, but I love them and I can't help it. I do have to stick them on somewhere. So there are roses, but there are also bugs. I think we should all just embrace the bugs. Embrace, embrace the bugs. That's what I think. Um, actually, what I might do is, because I've got a little bit of leftover, I'm, I think I'm actually going to back these just to give them a little bit more strength. 
they are printed because I'll probably be asked. Um, ephemera, I print like this on Epson heavy weight matte photo paper. If you print on a photo paper, you're going to get a nice crisp image. I always recommend you print on the photo paper that is suitable for your printer. Obviously, if you buy a speciality photo paper, you're going to get a good print also, but speciality paper is obviously more expensive. And whether or not you want to do that for junk journals, that's obviously entirely up to you. Um, but if you're printing, this is the Epson photo paper, the heavyweight matte, and you can see it's perfectly crisp. It, you get you could just you know you get such a such a nice print if you print onto a normal printer paper copy of paper and a uh, or a cardstock it's porous it's not got the coating on because when you print a photo or a picture or an image the ink on a on a on photo paper will sit on the paper um, it's designed so the ink doesn't soak in it will sit on the paper, which is what gives you that crisp um, image. If you're using a copy of paper or a cardstock, you're going to get a slightly blurry page or a slightly blurry image because it's it's porous and the ink will bleed. Even if it is ever so slightly, it is going to bleed. Photo paper is designed to not do that. It doesn't do that. Okay, now I'm going to decide whether I'm going to pop these on with a yeah I think I'm going to use a brad I think I'm going to use brad I was I have got my I have got my eyelets ready although do I want to hmm not sure whether I should use a brad or hang them I think I'm going to hang them change my mind brad back Probably put it in the in the wrong place. So now I think I'm gonna use the smaller hole because I don't think I'm gonna put an eyelet in here. There we go. Now um, some of these are better than others. These ones are actually jewellery making ones and they're pretty bants. They are not very sturdy at all. Let's see if that goes in there. Let's open that up a bit more. I told you there was no real plan. I'm just having a little go. I'm just seeing what happened. Oh blimey, I'm hot. It's going to be completely unbearable to sit at my desk in about uh, probably in about an hour I expect there we go quite like that and I think um, where are they let me have a little look the trouble with cleaning and tidying and sorting and moving is um, remembering where where you put things Okay, now, what should I put on there too? I'm going to go, aha, there we go, little tiny bee. These came from the bees, these tiny ones, um, I'm pretty sure are Etsy. It's, I'm finding it really difficult to get the right working setup at the moment. Um, whatever I need is never easy to get to. 
or get at or remember where I've actually put it. Now this is not going to hang perfectly because it's not on a forward facing jump ring but that's okay, I'm okay with that. Cute! Like it! Okay, right, and that's the little notebook and Wondering whether I should embellish a little bit on the inside. Probably should have done that before as well and sewn in. Well, you know, that's the notebook done anyway. So I'm happy with that. Cute. Right, let's have a little, do something similar with a tag. It's very warm, I should have put my hair up. Should have got that off my face. Mm, that one's quite cute. Let's do that. Now, I'm going to use a piece of this. It's not going to be particularly strong, but I'm going to back it on a piece of this file folder. Go for a big one or a smaller one. Hmm. I don't know. That's kind of similar. Quite like these. Should I put a number on there? Do we want another number? How about one of the little These are going to be fun, you know, they're going to be fantastic when they're um, embossed. I didn't have a chance. I didn't really, didn't really think about it actually, which is a bit silly. Quite like that. Um, I wonder if we could turn this into a little, little tuck spot of some sort without having the hmm. I think I might turn that into a little tuck spot and then use one of the little yeah like that okay right I'm gonna um, I'm gonna back these again that knot. I'm not going to back that. Can I get both of these on this scrap? Yes, I can. I'll speed this up, don't worry. Um, just grabbed one of my faux rusty paper clips um, using the patina, patina paint and the wonderful Angie's method with the paper clip. I shouldn't be crafting on camera when it's so hot. There we go. This is quite a thin fabric. This works much better when you've got a thicker fabric that you can really fray and um, make it look old. Let's see how much we need. Not very much. Okay. Let's straighten up. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put, I'm just gonna line this up so I know how wide roughly my fabric is. And I'm just gonna put a small amount of glue there to start with. And then just put that, put that in place. Definitely 
don't want that much. I want the numbers showing. I mean it's quite delicate so I don't want to do I don't want to go over the top with a thick fabric and layers and things like that this is just a really quick little tag there we go now what I'm going to do I'm just going to sew around here and I'll be back Right, so that's that done. I'm going to put the little little pocket down the bottom. So I'm just going to run a little bit of glue along here. Just up the side. I'm going to go over that very badly piece of stitching I did I mean I could have put this on first but um, I wasn't worried about stitching over it but I, I went a bit I went a bit awry there so I'm gonna put that there and this is my little tag that can pop in my little pocket and then what I'm gonna do is get a very thin piece of this if it will rip this is better I want a nice tatty thin piece I mean, Angie, who is Mountain Girl Studio, has some absolutely amazing um, tutorials and and work. You know, she's now got a website. Um, I'll try and find the link for that. I've got it somewhere. Just gonna pop a little piece of glue there. I don't want that completely stuck. I quite like it being a little bit array. And now that's our little tag with a little tag. So I quite like that. That's quite sweet. I might pop this in the little journal. That's almost finished. I keep saying it's almost finished. Um, it is almost finished. So I hope to have a very rare <laughs> for me um, journal flip through. Um, maybe a later today, um, if not definitely tomorrow. It's just um, you estimate how long things are going to take and they don't. So um, it's just about there. Um, so I hope you like the little tag and the little notebook. Um, uh, thanks again. Please stay safe and stay cool if you are in the UK um, and stay warm if you're in Australia because apparently it's really windy and rainy where some of you are. Take care. I will see you soon. Bye.